welcome. Hi. So today we are trying to make bread and butter pickles for the first time. We probably will only get two jars worth of pickles. I was only able to get, I don't know, let's see. Six cucumbers. Six decent sized cucumbers for pickling. Um, we've never done this before, so we'll take you guys around, along for the ride so you can see how we do it. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, so for the ingredients, I found a recipe on Pinterest to use. Um, so we got a white onion, we got some mustard seed, ground turmeric, celery seed, got some kosher salt, white vinegar, sugar, and some apple cider vinegar to use. All right, so we're going to start with uh, cutting off the ends of the cucumber here and then slice it with the mandolin. And Christy is going to work on chopping up that onion. And, um, Probably cry. Of course. And we have to uh, basically slice up the cucumbers, chop up the onions, um, coat them with a nice layer of salt, and stick them in the fridge for a few hours, right? Yep. And then while they're in the refrigerator, we will make the brine for it when we, so after they're done um, coating with the kosher salt and everything, it draws all the moisture out of the cucumbers and then the brine will um, be the flavoring that you're gonna use. Is that too thin? Or? No, it's perfect. why we're making I decided to make bread and butter and not dill because if they were dill I'd be the only one eating them well I'd eat them just to try them yeah gotten to our cucumber plant uh, and burned it up, but we were able to get a couple of, uh, we got, what, two harvest out of it? Yeah. Um, and it, it might come back, but we're not, not too sure. I'm really hoping with that rain that we just got, it'll bring it back to life. Help it, because it got scorched with the heat wave we had. Yeah. Yeah, I got the, uh, Mid 90s with the heat index of over 100. It was like 106 to 109 was the heat index. Yeah. We're Hottest not, in this area in years. We're not used to the heat like that anymore. <laughs> no, not here in northern Illinois. That's for sure. And of course, any of our friends or family that listens to this is going to be like, really? That's nothing. <laughs> 90 degree weather. It was the humidity though. I 
think um, the next next season when we do our cucumber, we're gonna do it in a barrel method. Yes. Um, we saw that on Arms Family, um, another YouTube. Arms Family Homes. Yeah, Arms Family Homes, another YouTube channel, and pretty uh, pretty cool way that they were growing their cucumbers. The onions are getting to me now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, you basically start your your cucumber plant in a 55 gallon barrel full of water, and it just. Uh, grows from that and binds out and you don't grow it in the dirt yeah it's weird yeah it's a it's a hydroponic um way of doing it and basically the root system grows down into the barrel and is fed from the barrel the water in the barrel obviously and uh the plant just binds out and grows down the side of the barrel and um, grows out onto the ground and you can put trellises and whatnot to keep it off the ground if you want. And, uh, it's supposed to be... It looks really be, cool. Yeah, and pretty easy way of doing it and seemed to produce really good results from what we've seen. So yeah. I think that's what we're going to try on the next round. Yep. We'll see how it works for us. You want a cucumber bud? Oh, you can kind of see Gunner back there. You gonna eat a cucumber? <laughs> you don't want it? You camera shy? Alright. Mm -hmm. So we're adding one and a half tablespoons of kosher salt to the mix. Okay. One and a half heaping. Yeah. <laughs> we'll mix this up really good. And yes, my hands are clean. I don't think they care if they're not eating it. What? <laughs> so we decided we wanted to add a little bit more salt for good measure. Salty cucumber. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Yeah, that was a lot of salt. Okay, so I'm just going to cover that with um, paper towel and let that sit in the fridge for a couple hours. Yep. And then we'll work on the brine. Yep, you got it. All right, so we had the cucumbers um, with the onions chopped up and, and the salt uh, added to it in the refrigerator for two hours, about two, two and a half hours. Um, we took them out, rinsed them all off, got the salt off of them for the most part and are draining them now. And next we need to add all of the spices together. Yep. All right, so, so for the brine. We need one cup of white vinegar. Mm -hmm. White vinegar. So I'll put it in there. Yep. We need a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. I'll open this one while you're doing that. So I don't think there's a half a cup there. Nope. Just at a quarter. One 
one cup of white sugar. Spoons of the mustard seed. I open all this stuff up. <laughs> yeah, actually, it actually doesn't smell like anything. Alright, so you need three quarter teaspoon of celery seed. dissolves and then we're gonna pour it into this bowl we're gonna put the cucumbers back in the bowl and pour the brine over the cucumbers um, and then we'll put them into the mason jars Brian's done. Pour it over. It smells good. Yeah, it does. Got a little mustard seeds out. And mix it up. Here, you're gonna go put the pot down. Yum. Sure smells good. I hope it tastes good. Connor likes it. You like pickles? Do you like pickles? Oh yeah, I can smell that. That wonderful bread and butter smell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll let those soak for about an hour, mm. cool off, jar them up, and stick them in the fridge. It does smell really good. Can you guys smell it? Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. So we got some mason jars. We got half pints. We washed and cleaned them really good. Um, I think we're gonna maybe need more than six though. Let's see. These smell so good. Yes, they do. So we um, got the brine simmered, uh, let the sugar dissolve, and mixed, uh, poured the brine over the pickles or the um, cucumbers and uh, let it sit for about an hour to cool off and now we're jarring them up and we'll stick them in the fridge. And they should last for about three weeks yes. like this in the fridge because we're not, you know, we're not actually canning them um, this go around. So we uh, tasted them a little bit and they are quite good. Very good. I would make them again. Absolutely. Sure you get some of that good brine in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we get our canning stuff, we will definitely be making all sorts of canned stuff. My grandma is actually giving me all her canning stuff, so that'll be cool. Yes, it's very nice of her. And hopefully she'll give me her recipes because her pickles are so good. I think we'll get six. I don't six know. half pints. I don't know. Five and a half. <laughs> I might take some out just so this one's not so empty, I guess. Well, take a little from each one. Yeah. I got some tongs on the. Uh... I mean, and these were just from six, you know, smaller sized cucumbers, too. Yeah. This is some good homemade pickles right here out of our very own garden. Yeah, I mean, how cool is that? Like, we grew this stuff. Like, that's crazy to think of that we actually like, grew this and made our own pickles. Like, I eat pickles every day. So, like, to be able to make my own is pretty cool. That's pretty good. All right. <laughs> 